Hey. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys my results from um, using a product by um, Curls Cashmere. Yeah, Curls Cashmere um, Professional line. I'm not sure what the exact um, name for that line is, but I know it is their professional line. So it's not the line that's sold in like Target and Walmart. It's the line. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. It's the line sold in like beauty supplies and Sally's and yeah. So the process that I used, if you um if you did not see it from the um previous video of me installing well using the actual product and um twisting my hair, I used um plain water. And as a leave in I used my um my coconut butter. So <clears throat> and I will upload a video on um, how to make the coconut butter. So here it is. I use this as a leave-in instead of using um, any other one of my leave-ins. I just wanted to use this because um, my hair just needed some oil and moisture at the same time. So then I used the product, which is the whipped cream, um, heavy curl cream without hold by curls. And this is a very, I like this product. It smells really good. It smells just like the regular uh, curl products. And it's really whipped. And like, if I shake it too much, it will fall out of the container. See? And it's like, it's a real good heavy cream. Like, when I was like feeling it and whatnot. Well, let me play with it for a minute. So it's like this. And it's really, really, it's thick. It's loose, but it's thick at the same time. And it feels really good. And when I put it on my hair, it moisturizes my hair really, really well. Okay. So, and then to seal all that in, I use my um, Jamaican black castor oil. So, yeah. Let me take this turban off my head. And get the, all this product off my fingers. I'm just going to wipe it in my hair. And I sleep terrible, so my so like my twists they look dusty and whatnot. But yeah, I can share. I got all this product off my hands. Okay, and now I have had this twist in my hair for like a day and a half, so I'm gonna um, use Shea Moisture's Reconstructive Elixir to give my hair a little bit shine and to wake it up a little bit. So one, two. Wipe it all over my head. Okay. And now for the takedown. Let me put this closer. looks pretty and when I separate my twists I'll um, just unravel them like this and then put my finger in between to release them and um, when you're taking out your twists make sure you go back through and make sure that you've taken out every single twist on every single side because I've had had times where like I think I've gotten every twist and then I'm playing around in my hair like in class or outside somewhere and I find one more twist or when I'm separating my hair and um, I start to fluff I'll be like why won't this you know part like separate and it's because there's still a twist so <laughs> you gotta make sure okay so now I'm gonna separate them I generally like separate the hair at the top into threes. So one, two, and then three. See, I have one more twist right there. And I try not to separate like the front pieces too much because I do want it to um 
still look good especially on my edges like when I separate like these pieces like um too much or anything like that it gets really frizzy and I don't need it to get really frizzy I don't know what's going on. Another twist. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is start just like taking them out section by section. Because I think that will be a little bit better so I don't have, I won't be missing out on twists. Okay. Oh, I'm watching the news with this crazy snow stuff here in Georgia. Well, not snow, ice. Okay. take my pick and go in Hold on. so you don't have to separate your hair as much as I've separated mine I just like big hair and I like it to be fluffy and dependent on I don't like it really to be neat or anything like that because I'm just like not that type of person <laughs> Like, people who take out their twist down, they have, like, the twist, like, still form, like, the way that they separated it. That's just not me. I can't do that. I like my hair to be a little bit afro-y with volume and stuff. I already tried, like, doing it like that. And I don't look right. So, I do what makes me look right. <laughs> and when you go in with the pick, you're just lifting the roots a little bit. And you can shake it like that. Do not pull all the way through the hair. And um, you can always use your hands too to just like go in and like shake the parts loose too. But that doesn't really work for me so I don't do it. So I just used the pick to help um, shake out the parts and um, fill gaps and all that. <coughs> mm, excuse me. I need to drink some water. So yeah. I'm going to assess this better in the mirror because I really, I can see what I'm doing. But not like fully. So I'll be right back. Okay. So I fluffed it out to my liking. And yeah, I like the results. It's just that um, like a little bit of my hair is flat and it's not, it has nothing to do with the product. It has to do with the way that I sleep. Um, I sleep pretty bad. And so like I mash down my um, my twists sometimes. So yeah. But I still like the results. My hair is well moisturized and nice and fluffy. And so if I didn't want to wear it like this. Because this side is a little bit stringy. Because I sleep on this side mainly. So I can always... Just take the hair and smooth it up like so. Take a bobby pin. Well, I'm going to use two bobby pins for this side and the next side. Get out of my band-aid. And just pin it up like so. Take another bobby pin. And it keeps on going in my band-aid. And just put that one going down.
Okay. And then just take that hair and put over it a little bit. And then do the same to the other side. So smooth it. Okay, so I have a little frohawkish thing going on. And I love it. I really like this product. Um, and my beauty supply, it was like $15 like a couple of months ago. But it went down to um, $13.99. So when it went down, it's like, it's just a dollar less basically. And then I guess whatever else, probably a dollar or two less um, when you add tax and stuff. But whatever I still picked it up so I thought I closed this okay <laughs> so I do I love this product this is a great moisturizing and styling product and I definitely will be picking it picking this up again because a little bit of this goes a long way like I already used it twice I used it to do some corn rolls which failed um and then I used it for my twist out and as you can see it's an eight ounce jar and it's still it's still full so I did a lot with it I didn't use a little bit of it when I did my corn rolls either. So, yes. This this is going to be a staple product. I'm probably going to do like a roller set with it or flexi rod set with it to see how it works too. And I'm going to have somebody do a flat a flat twist on me cuz I I can't flat twist to save my life. I've been trying. So, yeah. These are my results and I like it. And so, yeah. I, I'm i glad that I recorded this because I have been um, doing tutorials and just showing you like me actually putting the product in my hair and twisting my hair and I haven't been recording the results. So this is me recording the results. So yeah. I hope this video was helpful. Rate, comment, subscribe, and like. Follow us on Instagram at Natural Hair Guru. And you can email us at thenaturalhairgurus at yahoo.com. Bye. <laughs>